Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Are some foods and beverages junk? In this video, I'll share what is junk food? Does junk foods equal comfort foods? The difference between essential and non-essential nutrients? Should you avoid or ban junk foods? And being mindful of your diet and lifestyle. Junk foods are generally prepared foods and highly processed foods that are high in calories, saturated fat and sodium, and low in essential nutrients. They may require vitamin and mineral supplements to prevent nutrient deficiencies and serious diseases. Many junk foods have more chemical additives than natural ingredients. Additives you can't buy at your local grocer or supermarket. Additives that can cause allergic reactions and other side effects. Other names for junk foods are convenience and comfort foods, prepared, processed, highly processed, and ultra-processed foods. Junk foods include sugar-sweetened beverages, pizza, white bread, fried foods, cookies, cakes, and pastries, salty snacks, added sugars, alcoholic beverages, ice cream, candy, and many prepared and ultra-processed foods. But are all those foods really junk foods? Your diet comes down to choices. During times of anxiety and stress, many people turn to comfort foods and they don't turn to fruits and vegetables to reduce stress. They usually turn to high-calorie, low-nutrition prepared foods that makes them feel better. In the U.S., the number one takeout food during the coronavirus lockdown was fried potatoes, what some people classify as junk food. Comfort foods may temporarily relieve anxiety and stress, but there are no comfort if they lead to preventable weight gain and serious chronic diseases. Your premature death will not comfort your family and friends. Most people can eat an occasional serving of macaroni and cheese and other comfort foods without jeopardizing their health. For some people, a diet of mostly comfort foods can lead to serious, life-threatening diseases. Comfort foods have less variety and usually more calories than non-comfort foods. A large restaurant cheeseburger and fried potatoes has four times the calories of the home-cooked steak dinner. Some will argue, but you get 40% more protein. Doubling the portion size provides 700 calories and 82 grams of protein. We eat to obtain energy and nutrients our bodies can't make. Those nutrients are called essential. They include carbs, fat, and protein, vitamins, minerals, amino acids, omega fatty acids, and fiber. Non-essential nutrients include alcohol and added fats, salt, and sugar. Many high-calorie processed foods are called junk foods because they replace foods high in essential nutrients. Nutrient deficiencies can cause anything from mild constipation to severe life-threatening anemia. Diets low in essential vitamins and minerals require dietary supplements to prevent nutrient deficiencies. Some fad diets require a variety of dietary supplements. Does that make the diet a junk food diet? Humans have survived for thousands of years before the introduction of dietary supplements in the 20th century. Nutrients from foods are usually superior to dietary supplements. Even the best multivitamin does not provide the nutrients available from foods. When you eat broccoli and other plant foods, you get more than vitamins and minerals. You also get fiber, energy, 
and phytochemicals that have antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and anti-cancer properties. For a great nation, the United States really drops the ball when it comes to health and nutrition. The leading cause of death is heart disease. Over 647,000 Americans died from heart disease in 2017, according to the CDC. Many of those deaths were due to diet and lifestyle and preventable. Another 600,000 Americans died from cancer, and many cancers are linked to diet, lifestyle, and environment. In many cases, Americans are eating themselves to death. Diet-related risk factors include type 2 diabetes, heart disease, stroke, artery disease, pregnancy complications, hormone imbalance, some cancers, and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. The solution, according to some fad diets, is a total ban on prepared junk foods. Some recommend throwing out or banning any prepared food made with more than five ingredients. That's an overly simplistic approach. Some healthy foods, like canned soup, can easily have more than five ingredients. This homemade minestrone soup has more than 20 ingredients. There's a big difference between foods made with natural ingredients you can buy and prepared foods made with dozens of chemical ingredients. Given a choice between eating and starving, is this meal with dozens of chemical additives really junk? It's easy for fad diets to label some foods junk than to educate people about eating a healthy diet that occasionally includes less healthy foods. For example, Healthy smoothies are highly processed beverages made with ingredients some fad diets ban. Are they junk foods? How can a food be labeled healthy by one person and junk by another? For some people, cooking is a chore to be avoided at all costs. The alternative to home-cooked foods is a diet of prepared foods. When it comes to prepared foods, you usually get more than you think. Prepared sandwiches are convenient, but why are they made with so many more ingredients? Ingredients like richly seasoned beef equals low-quality beef with chemical flavor enhancers. The prepared sandwiches beef and cheese pictured doesn't even look real. Your liver removes all toxic and non-essential chemicals in your food. The more additives in your food, the harder your liver works to remove them. Should you limit or ban so-called junk foods? It depends on your overall health. Any food can be junk if it increases your risk for serious chronic diseases. All foods, even junk foods, provide nutrients but some foods are better sources of essential nutrients. It makes a huge difference if you're in good health or if you have one or more chronic diseases. Your diet depends on your overall health. You know your body better than anyone, even your doctor. You're unique and need to understand your body and what adversely affects your health. A diet comes down to many choices. If you have celiac disease or wheat allergy, you must eliminate all foods made with wheat. If you're allergic to soy, you must avoid all foods made with soy products. If you have high blood pressure and your diet is mostly high sodium prepared foods, you can reduce the amount of sodium in your diet. Significantly reducing sodium in your diet may mean more home-cooked meals and fewer prepared meals. The alternative can be a lifetime of blood pressure drugs. If you're overweight or obese, you need to reduce the number of calories in your diet. A healthy diet and lifestyle 
can mean a long life without prescription drugs or with fewer drugs. Over 2,000 years ago, Hippocrates said, let food be your medicine. An article in the November 2020 issue of the Harvard Health Letter said some high-risk older Americans average 15 prescription drugs a day. Drugs can be expensive. A Medicare Advantage plan ad states their members save an average of $7,800 annually on their prescription drug costs. U.S. grocery shoppers are greeted by tables filled with high-calorie, low-nutrition foods. Healthy foods are located at the back or side of the store, past all the highly processed foods. Processed foods are convenient, but not necessarily healthy. Does anyone really believe cavemen ate pancakes and waffles? I'd like to believe cave women had more sense and prepared nutritious meals for their families. Alcohol is a high-calorie, low-nutrition beverage. During the coronavirus pandemic, people couldn't wait to fill bars and pubs. Alcohol is a toxin, and the risks, in many cases, outweigh the benefits. Alcoholic beverages provide between 100 to 600 empty calories per day. No one's developed a beer belly from eating too many fruits and vegetables. Increasing obesity has led to a worldwide increase in type 2 diabetes. Diabetes simply means your blood sugar levels are too high. While your body uses sugar for fuel, too much sugar increases body fat and the risk of serious disease and death. Diabetes is one of the leading causes of blindness and limb amputations. Imagine what life would be like losing your sight. In most cases, type 2 diabetes is caused by diets high in refined carbohydrates. Any natural food can be turned into junk food. Some people claim fresh blueberries are a superfood. Blueberry cookies provide more calories and added sugar than health benefits. Must you ban blueberry and other cookies from your diet forever? It all depends on you and your health. Fat diets rely on the everyone is the same principle. As I've pointed out, everyone is not the same. Food manufacturers are multi-billion dollar corporations that put profits before your health. They oppose any legislation that increases consumer awareness about the health risks of prepared foods. Casual and fast food restaurants serve supersized portions because their customers expect it. It's not their problem if you made poor dietary choices. If you believe your local casual restaurant is serving up 100% made-from-scratch foods, think again. The sausage gravy may have come from a can. Hollandaise and other sauces from restaurant-sized dry mix. Your favorite restaurant Alfredo sauce may also come from a mix. Fast food and casual restaurant mashed potatoes from instant potatoes. Made with artificial colors and flavors and one or more preservatives. Any food can be your medicine or your poison. It's easy labeling foods as junk. I enjoy eating foods called junk in moderation. Listen to your body when deciding what foods or diet are best for you. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.